This is a GoPro Hero 9. And believe it or not, I have never reviewed it until today. The thing that I want to know the most is, is the GoPro Hero 9 a vlogging beast? This review has been a long time coming. So you know what, let's hop into it and let's talk about the GoPro Hero 9. Yo, what is up guys, it's Sky, and in today's video we are talking GoPro Hero 9 Black. We're gonna be doing the ultimate vlog test, testing out stabilization, quality, low light footage, and just the overall usability of the GoPro Hero 9. Because the ultimate question is, can the GoPro Hero 9 be the ultimate vlogging camera. So if that sounds good to you guys, hit that like button because it helps out the channel a lot. And also hit that subscribe button if you are new because you are a boss. And if you are already subscribed, you already know I love your ninja boss face. So now let's get right into it. When the GoPro Hero 9 first came out, I actually bought it right away. But as quickly as I bought it, is as quickly as I returned it. Because of the fact that it was so buggy and I was losing footage like crazy, I figured it's not really worth what I wanna do with it. But it's been a long time since then and GoPro's actually updated this thing a few times. And another thing that's changed is that I have this channel. So we are gonna go test it out right now. Okay, now, Let's give this thing a proper test. Let's see if this GoPro Hero 9 can be like the best vlogging camera. Huge shout out to my friend Dan for actually letting me borrow the GoPro Hero 9. Cause yeah, I didn't, I didn't want to go out and buy it just to do a review and then not like it again. Cause if I did, this would be the second time that I would have bought this camera. So I'm happy that he was just able to let me borrow it. Okay, so now I'm gonna put the Sony A7S III down, pick up the GoPro. We're gonna film in 5.7K at 30 frames a second. So this whole video is probably gonna be up res to 5K and Everything's gonna be in 30 frames a second, okay? All right, let's go. Okay, and here we go. I'm putting the Sony away, and we are on the go. And it is extremely windy today, Woo! All right, and it is a go. It is five point, or 5K, vlogging on the GoPro Hero 9. Ah, some flew my eye, dang it. All right, now, one of the things I did right away was I made my own custom set. So I'm shooting in 5K30, max ISO is 400. I also changed the picture profile to flat. I left the white balance to auto, but I changed the sharp to medium. I noticed that with the GoPro, it's always set to really high and it just, that, that just doesn't look well at all. So I changed the sharpness to medium. And now just using this thing for about five minutes and looking at the viewfinder, it's, it's the, the front facing screen is actually a nice touch. I'm happy that they actually did it because when DJI did it, I was like, this is amazing. Like, why hasn't this been done? So I do like that they did add a front facing screen. Also, I'm actually really liking the colors from the flat profile. It actually looks like you may not have to color grade the footage too much. How you doing? <laughs> yeah, so it looks like you may not have, it looks solid to be honest. And I'm actually really interested to see how it turns out on the computer. It's hard for me to tell right now because in 5K30, this front facing screen, man, it is, it is rough. <laughs> it's like displaying at about, I would say like 10 frames a second. <laughs> it is really rough. I will show you guys what I'm talking about later. But yeah, let me know what you guys think. Like seriously, it actually looks extra, like it looks good. Like I'm, a, I'm really impressed with the color. Do not shoot <laughs> in standard profile. Don't do it. Not on GoPros, not anymore. This, I realized that about all these cameras, these cameras are getting to the point where it's not that great straight out of camera. It looks so much better in the flat profile. All right, so we've done a bunch of walking, talking stuff. Let's see how some B-roll looks. Real quick, I forgot to let you guys know too, the camera is updated, so everything's up to date. The screen, is, 
it's a trip, man. That front face screen is a trip. I also noticed too that both screens are on all the time. I wonder if you could actually just switch on to the front facing screen or the back facing screen. It looks like you can do just the back screen and then maybe have some info information on the front screen, but I don't know how to make it where you can actually switch between the two. So if anybody knows how to do this, let me know because I have no idea. Something else that you do notice right when you pick this camera up, even though if you're looking at this video, you probably already have this camera, but it is a tank. Like it is really big. I forgot how big this thing is. It's huge. All right, now I'm back at the park. Let's check the stabilization. Let's see how good this Hyper Smooth 3.0 boost times a million is, okay? So let's do some running. Let's go and let's wiggle it too. Uh oh, jump over the mud. All right, how does that look? All right, let me do some wiggling again. How's that? I can't tell because the screen is so jittery. <laughs> All right, so now, so far, I've shot maybe 45 clips so far. And I would say something weird happened maybe three times. So that, that's a step up to me, to me. Guys, you don't understand. I really like GoPro. Like, like I kept saying in my other video, I have had every single GoPro and every time like they always been kind of on the slope up and for some reason it just seems like they just been letting it slip I mean and it's mainly with the user experience like I feel like that's important like you can't you gotta have a good user experience man all right so you guys already know I'm at my favorite spot and the windmill is on what <laughs> Ah, oh, we finally got our first crash. I had to pull out the battery and everything. <laughs> oh, come on, GoPro, come on. I just had this thought, like what if the audio isn't that great? <laughs> that would suck. <laughs> I wanna go under this tunnel, see how it looks. It shouldn't be too much noise just because I put the ISO max at 400. Well, actually this isn't really low light. You know what, we'll, we'll have to do like a low light test. You know. Okay, this is our low light test, still at 5K 30. I had to bump the ISO to 800 though. Max ISO is 800, 5K 30. So I just bumped the max ISO to 1600 and it doesn't look that good. <laughs> but anyway, let's wrap this up. Oh gosh, I don't even think you can see me anymore. Let's go ahead and wrap this up, head back home, look at the footage and see what we're working with. All right, we are back. I mean, well, obviously it's the next day because, but yeah, we are back. And I think the GoPro actually did really well. Like it definitely did well as a vlogging camera. Now I did have a couple of hiccups, but for the most part, it, it's, it did really well. And now before we get into the hiccups, let's go ahead and talk about what the GoPro does like really, really well. Now let's start off with video quality. And now, as I mentioned while I was out, the GoPro shoots in 5K30, which is the best spec that it has. So for, for me, as a creator, as a vlogger, no matter what camera I'm using, I'm always picking the best quality option. And the reason I shot in 30 was because I actually looked at 24 frame footage and it didn't look that great to me. It just kind of looked a little eh. So I bumped it up to 30 and there you go. It looked a lot better. So like I mentioned before, all the footage that you see was shot in 5K 30. And to be real, it looks good. And then like low key, I was actually really shocked at how the color turned out. On the Hero 9, GoPro actually got the colors like right. Like it looks really good. Another thing with the video quality is just how much detail you're getting. It's actually really surprising. I mean, because to be real, when I first bought it, when it first came out, I don't remember it looking that good. So maybe that happened in the firmware update. Maybe they tweaked a couple of things and made the quality just a little better, but it does look good. So huge, huge plus on image quality. And now no surprise, the audio quality is actually really good as well, but come on, we already know that. So audio quality gets a huge plus as well. And now the build quality, I gotta say, it's, it's sturdy. It's like, it's very well built. So build quality, 
huge plus. And another one that wasn't a surprise was stabilization. Stabilization, actually not too bad. And now I know this is gonna sound strange. I do think the DJI Osmo actually may have it on the stabilization. Just because when you look at it when I was doing like this, it was like, it, it was just some kind of, I don't know what the stabilization is doing. I think it, it confused itself or something. I don't know. I had it on boost the entire time. So yeah, I don't know. But when I did like this with the DJI Osmo Action, it doesn't, you, it still stays stable. Like you can go like this and it'll just, it'll just look like you're just like, hey. So yeah, I do think the DJI Osmo Action has a little bit better stabilization, but for the most part, great stabilization. So those are all the pros of having the GoPro Hero 9 as a vlog camera. Now we gotta talk about the not so good like cons. Starting with the video quality. Now I mentioned this when I was out, but yes, do not shoot in the regular GoPro picture profile. Shoot in flat. The colors are really good in flat. When you shoot in a regular picture profile, it seems to be some artifacting going on in the coloring. Like the darks are really dark, the highlights are really high, and it's just way too over contrasted and sharpened. So for me, that is a con because you cannot shoot in regular picture profiles. So stay away from it. I mean, just I'm just giving you a heads up right now. Stay away from regular picture profile. And then side note, another thing you wanna do is actually change the sharpness to at least medium or low. Don't keep it high and, and you're good to go. But yeah, that is a con of the video quality. Next, I would have to say the size. Now, it's actually really big. When I did buy this camera when it first came out, I don't remember it being this big. I, I just don't remember it being this big. This thing is huge for a GoPro. Like, like look, Hero 7, Hero 9. Like this thing, like, it is, this thing is huge. It would have been so different if they gave you a new sensor and a new processor. Then I could understand where the thickness and the girth is coming from. But to have the same processor, I don't understand why it's that big. See, on my old GoPros, I used to shoot a lot of motorcycle and car footage, and I just couldn't imagine putting this on a helmet. Like, I just, like, it's 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 really big. But to be real, that's kind of a small nitpick. That just for me, I just, I was just surprised at how, I don't remember it being that big. And now the next time would be low light performance. And yeah, I mean, GoPros are never really that good in low light, but again, if you're gonna increase the size of the actual camera, I, I don't know. I just thought the low light performance would actually be a lot better. And now, of course, this isn't new. So the low light footage is, yeah, I would, yeah, that's definitely a con. And now, usability. Oh my God. Okay, okay, where to start? Ho hold up, hold up, pimp it. Before you hit that dislike button, I'm gonna have to come out and say that the GoPro Hero 9 is a lot better from when it first came out. I shot a total of 135 clips and only four of them didn't work and only had two crashes. And I know this sounds silly, but to me that's a win. So I have to say, they did make some changes. I'm, I'm really happy they made these updates because that's what made me return the camera. But the overall usability is still just not there. It, it's not, it doesn't have that silky smooth vibe to it, you know? Because I, I, I feel like I have to press something like three times just to get a response. And that's just weird to me, you know? Like, I, I just want it to work. So the lag is still there, it's just not nearly as bad as when it first came out. Another thing that I realized, which is kind of strange, but I also feel like they cut corners with the front facing screen. I love the front facing screen. I loved it when it first came out in the DJI Osmo Action. But after using it for this vlog test, I realized it's not only the processor that's the problem, but I think they cut corners on the quality of the front facing screen itself. Because no matter what specs you're shooting in, it still looks cheap. Like it just looks really cheap on the front facing screen. And then the higher you bump up the quality, the more frames start dropping in the video playback. And after having the DJI Osmo Action for so long now, I'm just used to it, just it working, you know? On the DJI Osmo Action, it looks solid. But I'll be real, when it first came out, it did have a lag and also still has a lag at 4K 60. And then another thing I have to say about the front face screen is I would have loved the option to switch between the two screens. I don't see a need to have both screens on at the same time. Like I'm sure there's some people out there who like it, like don't get me wrong, but to save battery life and to feel more comfortable vlogging outside, I would prefer to be able to turn off the back screen while I'm using the front screen. But yeah, I think that's all the cons I have. I am actually really impressed with the updates of the GoPro Hero 9 because that was one of the biggest reasons I returned the camera. It was just all these errors and things I just didn't want to deal with. I personally felt like if I'm spending close to $500, was it 500? But yeah, if I'm spending like $500 on a camera, it should at least work. But I'm actually really happy that they did the updates and made some corrections. I mean, it's not, it's not there yet, but they, they tried and that, that's all you could ask for. So overall, I'm actually really impressed with the GoPro Hero 9 of where it started and where it is now. But 
What do you guys think? What do you guys think about the footage? What do you guys think? Do you think the Hero 9 sucks? Would you vlog with the Hero 9? Would you buy the Hero 9 in 2021? Or would you just wait for the GoPro Hero 10 that's coming up in a couple of months? I would love to hear your thoughts. But until then guys, that is it. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, hit that like button because it helps out the channel a lot. And hit that subscribe button if you are new and because you are a boss. We are almost at 2K going for 10. So hit that subscribe button. Thanks again for watching the video and I will see you guys in the next one. Unless you want some more of this face, then click another video right here. Until then, I'll see you guys in the next one.